When creating a video, you spend a lot of time and effort making something that your viewers will enjoy and or learn something from. To add that little extra touch, you can use cursor effects to draw attention to key moments in your video. I have some sample footage on the timeline so we can look at different ways to use cursor effects. The easiest thing you can do is go to the left hand navigation menu and select cursor effects. Camtasia has a few built in options. You can customize them and mark them as favorites like I did with the yellow highlight when I made it green. To highlight your mouse, drag and drop the effect to the timeline. Now as I play the sample footage, a yellow halo is around the mouse and you can see every move the mouse makes. This is a good start and I personally used it a lot when I first started making videos, but what I realized is it was not necessary to highlight every move, especially since I tend to have inefficient movements with the cursor. Let's say you only want to see the mouse to draw attention to specific mouse clicks, like when I click on the waffle and then when I click on forms, but in between, I don't want the yellow cursor. One way to accomplish that effect would be to find the place where you want the cursor to be on the timeline and then use the shortcut key S to split the timeline. Then you could go back to the other part where you don't want the effect to be and remove it from the properties pane on the left. In this example, the cursor appears when I click on the waffle and then when I click on forms, otherwise it will go away. Splitting the timeline can make the effect feel a bit choppy and abrupt. If you want a smoother transition, you can go to the animations option and choose custom animation. What this is going to do is let us choose when the highlighter fades in and out from the screen. What we're going to do is drag the custom animation to the timeline and place it where we want the cursor effect to change. And then what I'm going to do is go over to the highlight in the properties and turn the opacity all the way down. So here's what's going to happen. Notice that the cursor has no highlight on it because I turned the opacity to zero. As the playhead goes over the custom animation, the highlighter will fade in. I can keep placing animations to make the highlighter fade in and out as needed. Now when I double check my work on the timeline, the highlighter is on when I'm hovering over recent, goes away, and then it comes back on when I click on the three dots. If you have Camtasia 2022, the standard library has a lot of cursor animations and effects to use. My favorite is the click gestures. These are under the emphasis FX in the click gestures folder. They show up on the screen for a short time and are easier to use than splitting the timeline or using custom animations. I typically use the pink one because it is the only one that says customizable behind it, meaning that I can pick any custom color I want for the effect. First, let's place a few click gestures on the timeline. As I drag the playhead across our sample footage, I can find exactly where I'm clicking my mouse, and then all I have to do is drag and drop the effect in the exact spot where I'm clicking. As a tip, one thing I like to do is go to the properties pane and use the color picker to match the color of the click gesture to something that's on the screen or the color of the application that I'm talking about. In this example, I'm talking about the Microsoft Forms app, so I will make every click gesture the green color of the Forms icon. Now, I know that not many people notice this in my videos, but it is a piece of continuity that I think adds a bit of polish to the video. I encourage you to go play with some of these effects, and please let me know which one you like best in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.